Hello guys and welcome back to episode 139 of my level up series where I take hashtag united through the levels of the football pyramid. Now before we do get into today's video I really appreciate it if you would take the time to hit the subscribe button down below if you are interested in football manager content. Let's jump into things then because obviously today start of a new season hopefully a really good season. A lot's been going on, guys, to be honest. <laughs> a lot's been going on, some ins and an out. But we'll run through things. First, we'll look at the finances. So we are on an overall balance of 21 million. That's obviously gone down because we've obviously spent money this season. As you can see, a transfer budget took a significant hit. I think we had a transfer budget of 60 million starting off, if I'm not mistaken. You can see our wage budget currently, 950 or thousand nearly hitting that one million mark just shows the direction that the club's going in so you know we've spent some wages this season which we'll kind of get into projection wise though we're looking looking good as usual looking like we're going to make a profit which is good and um, one thing to note towards the end of the season was that the board decided to expand the stadium further our home stadium was supposed to be originally 16 and a half thousand now it's gone to 18 and a half thousand but now now we've got the issue where we can't play at our, our current ground so that means we are ground sharing for this season at the den good old the den millwall's ground uh, 19 19,734 so that's better than what we were at last season at our stadium our home ground so that means that we should be getting a bit more money it receipt wise which is good obviously we would like to play at our own stadium but that is obviously I don't know when because I guarantee at the end of next season they're going to be like oh we'll make it even bigger the reputation is just rising which obviously means that's probably why they've expanded it because the reputation of the club and they know we can fill the stadium easily Okay, so that's been talked about. What else do we discuss? I guess the transfers is what we're going to now. So we we're looking for a centre back, a left back. We we're looking at wanting to get a striker as well. And you know we've succeeded in some aspects of that. So we'll look at first of all the outs. So. Alun gets gone on a free, you probably won't know who he is, he's been loaned out for the past few seasons, he's gone to Red Star on a free, fair enough. Michael Crawford Kane though has gone to Nashville in the MLS on a free, a bit disappointing, couldn't get any money for him. I tried to sell him for like, I think it was like 3 million, no one was buying it, so he just left on a free. We were on, to be fair we could have recouped a bit of like money, like a million from him realistically, but a million is a million, I don't, I'm not really too fussed about that it's a shame to see him go but he really didn't feature last season and he did want to play regular football so you know he achieved quite a bit at the club obviously helped us get the championship title and we'll forever be part of our history good luck to him in the future now let's switch gears to Yade who's been complaining about game time and he's gone to Galatasaray for a fee of what, what was it 2.2 million rising to 2.8 was it just have a little look. Yeah, that's correct. Obviously, quite a big hit on the wages for us at the time of um, releasing him or, let, or selling him. 31.5k, so that's not bad. Obviously, he's on the decline now, 33 years old, but again, a good player for us, really. Experienced player, a player that, uh, um, you know, they performed relatively well in his first season there. 35 games. Three goals, seven assists. You'd want to see a little bit more, but I, th I think it was a solid debut season. 6.25 paid. We've recouped a little bit of money of that. Obviously, realistically, we were never going to get that 6.25 back because of his age. Uh, unless he's really top, top. Unless he was performing out of his skin, which obviously he wasn't. We might have been able to get a bit more money for him, but... And the final one to go is Ricky Fairclough, which is disappointing because I've really enjoyed Ricky's time at the club. He's gone to my hometown club of crew, which is nice. They've got a good sign in here, Ricky. I think I think um, we signed him obviously from Everton on a free. 
He's been here a few seasons now. I think it was he in our was he in our team for the League One days. No, he's joined in the uh, Championship era, and he's been a steady, steady, very consistent player for us. But again, in that number ten role, six goals, six assists. I know we've played him a little like on the right wing, but, uh, right wing as well, and left here and there. Generally, he has played as a number ten, and. The goals and assists aren't good enough, in my opinion, for the number 10. So he has moved on. 8.5 mil, I couldn't grumble at that. I think that's a fair price for him. I think he'll do well. I think he'll do well. He's a decent player. Obviously play... He can play in that DM role. He played quite a lot there, to be fair, in the championship run. Deep line playmaker, so... Yeah, good player. Good player. Sad to see him go, but I'm sure he'll get a lot of games at crew and bring them some success but that is the outs for us we'll talk about a potential out shortly coming up but it's a massive one that will shake shake us to our core when I tell you about this one but we'll go through the ins first and who was our first one Jonathan Toyers right centre back from Real Sporting 16.5 million Looks pretty good. I think we've done pretty well with him, to be honest. His value's already gone up to 21 mil. We're paying him 75k a week. A bit more than I'd like to spend on him. It is what it is. We wa I wanted to try and get a left-footed centre-back. Um, there was one guy plays for Watford. I think he might be Polish. He's got like a long... I think he's got like a Polish-style surname. Um... Or Eastern European, I should say. But uh, yeah, he, he, Watford wanted way too much money, and then this guy came up on the scouting, and I think he had a release clause. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't have a release clause, but they, he wanted to leave him, so that's why we got him on the cheap. Basically, uh, sixteen point five mil. I think he, the best defender we've had. I think. Yeah, that's pair. The Griffiths. Yeah, he's a better defender. Better in the defending stats, a bit quicker, got a bit more vision, a bit more attacking, a bit more technical. He's just lacking slightly mentally, but he's going to improve as well. He's three and a half star current, four and a half star potential, and yeah, a nice signing indeed, I think. Got bags of pace, very athletic, good positioning, good position, good teamwork, good work rate, yeah, good heading, well, decent heading, decent marking, good tackling though. His passing stuff needs to be improved. I want him to play as a ball playing defender, which I'm going to actually do now. Or I forget. I'll we'll try and get him playing. So oh. well, that's that blooded. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with him. I think, you know, obviously a centre back is crucial for us. We re we've needed one for a while and he's coming. We'll hopefully do the job. Now we have Luis Carlos Vergara. Not someone that I really initially thought I was going to sign. Um, a number, well, he plays off the right, in my opinion, he's a number 10. A number 10 all day long, this guy. Obviously, he's playing as an advanced playmaker off of the off of the left-hand side. No, nope, I want him in that number 10 role, causing mayhem. We got him for 15 million, was it? It was a release clause, I believe. 18 million, it was a release clause. Solid, I was like, yes, all day, secure that. And wasn't necessarily a player I was looking for, but when I just seen how good his vision and attacking and technical stats are, couldn't not go for him. He's six foot one as well. Got bags of it potential, three and a half star current potential again, four and a half star. Value's already gone up. He's considered a wonder kid, which I didn't actually spot at the time until we are recording this, which is really good. So that shows that he should get to a decent, decent level. Oh, oh, set up is we'll leave the additional training for now but yeah we're getting him ready for that role and um, really really pleased capped at under 20s for Spain so you know and he's got some quality played for Getafe done well secured him David Pozzo obviously was bound to come in we already knew that from last season Hopefully he has a bit better of a season, only scored two goals from his two appearances. That needs to improve um, from the youngster, and I'm sure it will. Now we have a low knee, and we wanted to, I've scoured everywhere for a left back, man. Everywhere! 
um, nowhere <laughs> like even Lonies he didn't want to know and um, we've got the Vlatko Balic from Liverpool left back to compete with Steele and if you look he looks pretty good obviously a bit more pacey slightly better vision slightly better attacking slightly better technical quite a bit better mentally defending a little bit worse physically a little bit worse but a good little player this guy and I'm valued at 39 mil. he's got 28 caps already for Croatia and Croatia are a good international side as we know have many good players in real life no one's tend to churn out um, quality players so yeah really really pleased with this one got him for the year hopefully we could maybe sign him in the future or look to sign someone permanently down the line and then someone who I didn't necessarily need but he came up in my scouting and I was like you know what it's time to introduce a new goalkeeper to the club obviously we've had a lot of backups that have never really touched the first team at all I really want to start kind of phasing, not I don't want to phase Toby out, but I need to give him some competition. And this guy, Nathan Harris from Brighton, should do it. 17 million total. I think that's quite a decent um, business, really, considering as you can tell. If you compare the two, Nathan is massively better in areas that a sweeper keeper should be, which we obviously use, like distribution. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. He is injured right now, <laughs> but he'll be returning, thankfully. Um, he'll miss the first game, but he'll be back for that, which is good. And yeah, that is concludes our signings. We've also obviously continued Vidra's loan. Lee, unfortunately, isn't coming back as Manchester United want to figure, hit, figure Lee into their first 11 or their squad plans, basically. Obviously, he's going to play a few league games here and there for Manchester United this season, which, I, which you know, you've got to respect that. We, we've developed him, um, played, you know, played him in a lot of games. We've done our job for <laughs> United, really, on that front. They can't really complain for years that he was with us. Um, unfortunately, obviously, we miss out on him this season. Then we have the big, the big one, which is the fact that Elias Elaine wants to leave the club. Do this for now. Elias wants to leave the club. He's unhappy, as you can see. Um, he wants to play Champions League football. Now, I'm okay with that. Perfectly fine with that. I think that's cool. You're well within your right to off, uh, want that because you've been smashing it in the Premier League for two seasons. I think you got a golden boot last season. You know. 39 league goals in two seasons is, isn't too shabby, is it? So I was like, yeah, that's fine. But I want, I want, I want a reasonable offer. And he was like, oh, I, I want. You know, will you let me go for 50 million? Bit, bit, bit. You know, his value is 50 million. So I'm like, nah. 80 million. Bear in mind, is flipping release clause minimum for Champions League is 81. I was like. I was like, 80. He's like, nah, so we were going back and forth. I got down to 72 mil. Still wasn't happy with that, so that's fair. That's basically why he's unhappy right now. And it looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of him because, I oh know his contract is for another three years, so maybe I can get away with it. I do, I will, I will sell him, I'll happily sell him, but you've got to pay the money. And Barcelona came in for him and I was like, yes, okay. Hopefully they'll give us the big bucks for him. They offered 45 million flat fee, no add-ons. That's ridiculous. He's about he's 50 mil. He's 20 years old. He's got to be one of the. He's got to be the best 20-year-old striker on this game right now. Look at his stats. Like this guy's ridiculous. Um, and to offer just the 45 mil flat fee, like I'll take, I'll take anywhere from, you know, from 70 million upwards. I'm ha happily do that because then I can I can use that to strengthen my right force with 70 million. I can buy in two players for that, two Elias style players like of that quality when he first joined. It's obviously developed since then, but yeah. So it's going to be a bit of a battle here. 
between us, but I have put him up for the market right now. I'm probably 75 mil. Inter and West Brom of all people are interested. I don't know how West Brom think they could ever afford him, but yeah, Inter possibly could move there. Fair enough, he's done fantastic for us. I can't complain. I wish he would stay, but realistically, he's going to go to top clubs have a fantastic career and win loads of trophies. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's the news. If we look, we if we look, I predicted the season, which only we predicted pretty low. Obviously, as you can see, we're fifteenth. Not great, but no, we're obviously we're going to do better than what fifteenth. Yes, and we start off this season with our opening game, which is Leeds United. So without further ado, I ramble on enough. Let's get down to the first games. Right, okay, so a little bit of team news uh, Team news for you. Elias, there's a bid from Inter. <laughs> it's just happened then. They put a bid in for 71 mil, which has been rejected by my board because I had my transfer set up where if it was anything under the asking price, it would be rejected straight away. But now I've put it as I'll respond myself. I'm hoping that Inter will come in for another bid for him. So now that I've swapped it, and we can kind of haggle with them because they're only four million off my asking price. So I'm hoping I would have liked to have handled that myself because I think I think I might have been able to get the 75 mil from them. But he got rejected, so fingers crossed they'll come back in for him and hopefully you know that asking price is 75 mil. I think he's bloody worth 75 mil like i think that's quite cheap for the play for the quality but you got to be realistic that we're at, we're hashtag united uh, we can't absolutely like hold these guys to ransom it doesn't work like that um figara is injured and then thomason this is obviously out so we've got balic he was starting for us for his first game of the season uh first game for the club toyos as well Cheer, cheer. Uh, yeah. Oh, we need the box to box that. Nice. Alright, <laughs> okay. I didn't even anticipate that. I can't lose in Lee, we've lost. Playing playmate. Well, cheer, cheer. Can. We need a backup. Might have to look at the loan market. Although, actually, I can't because the rules, actually, this is what I forgot about before because I tried to loan in a striker from City because they have so many great uh, youth players. That, um, I uh, tried to loan him in, completed the deal, signed, signed it off, crossed the T's, dotted the I's, <laughs> and then... Uh, got rejected because apparently in the Premier League you can only have two um, long season loans of players so I might go back in for them and try and get short term ones like until January that might be an idea but again if if we sell a lane for 75 mil then I've got enough money to get myself a central midfielder to replace Lee and a striker to in theory anyway but who knows who knows Either way, we can do with another midfielder in there just, just to help the help out the squad depth. Let's go. But Littor, who was the assist king last season, see what he can do. Griffiths, Hydra. It's tackled. Challenge Smith down to a lane. Smith! Oh my god, that is the tamest ever league. See what you're doing there, mate. See, this is what I mean. We need a number ten. You could bag, bag opportunities like. And the lane puts it on a plate from. I get. Ah, oh, come on, on. Positive start though. Very positive start. I'll give the boys that. And maybe get creative. Toyos. We have made some good signings. Obviously, losing Lee is a bit. If we could have loaned Lee as well, 
We would have, well, I mean, we had strengthened in left back, strengthened a striker, strengthened in number 10 with Pagara, even though he's not fully the accomplice in that role, but he, he, he plays advanced playmaker on the left, so he should be able to play it as a centre, number 10. Um, so we've got three players that go into our starting 11, so in my book, we've had a decent decent summer. If you get bring three players in and go straight into your starting eleven, that must be a good a good transfer window. Louis Barry. Still playing at age thirty five or whatever. The Leeds legend at this point. This Cheer. Lovely ball into Elaine. Great touch. Shoots. I think that was going wide anyway, to be honest. Not like it. Bang. Ball over the top. Elaine. Yes! Come on, gets himself off the mark. 1-0 up, Elias. Come on. That's right. Respect. He's been turning. He's turning up, even though with all this transfer fiasco that's going on, and him wanting to leave. Like to be fair, he's having a good game, and even though his morale's down, so you gotta respect that. Professional. I like it. I like it. Get a second now before half time. Yes, I'm thinking about Toyas because he's passing that that good at the moment. Do I put him in as just a central defender? Just rely on Griffiths because Griffiths has got good passing for a centre back. Just rely on him. Or do we still keep Toyas as a ball playing defender? Because I'm thinking he might misplay passes. A turn causes issues. Although he's not done bad so far, has he? So. Something to keep an eye on just in case we start seeing that he's making mistakes. Martelli. Ator. Cheer, cheer. Martelli. Also, oh my god, great save that was. He caught that so clean. Solid start this. I can't complain. I can't remember why Leeds finished to be fair. I think they did alright. Oh no, actually. That had just been above the relegation zone last season. Not to say. To, them. to be honest. It's been a few few days since I last played. Hmm. No surprises so far though, all the teams you'd expect to be winning. winning. Oh, Tuss. oh my god, you got away with that. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Could we keep up problems? Oh, oh, oh. Also should have scored. That's an unlucky one to be fair, you can't even. Good at it. Lucky I just didn't drop him. <laughs> yeah, that's a poor pass there. Uh, pass. Elaine. Oh! 
What a, if that if he would have just brought that down and just banged it. Whew, that would have been a fucking amazing goal. Oops. Boys. What happened? Last three minutes. Probably a bad idea. We're probably gonna go. just 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 see, see how they operate in a. Do you think the firepower McSween had in the championship in LA? That that should be a that should be an amazing <laughs> partnership. Like a, a York. Or York and Cole, or from Burke Camp on Rhea, or something like that. A legendary duo. On Lambert, oh! Lock in the end. No, it's been a dominant stats wise, but we need to put the game to bed now. Need another goal here just to show things up a little bit. Press, press. I've read this. I was looking at that guy. <laughs> like, uh, signing him. Oh, that makes sense. Like, wouldn't have been a waste of money, but it would have. Like, for the price he wanted. I think he was like 10 million. He is a class, he's a one, class as a wonder kid. He's only like 18, 19. He's like, back in the but when you look at him compared to like Pagara, it's night and day. Pagara's the better player. Oh my god. What an opportunity to put them level. It was a mistake. Come on boys, get yourself another goal. Play us. Oh no. Oh, they, it's fine. There's no one up there. Alec. Ooh, what a ball that is. Lambert! Good fight, but straight at the keeper. <laughs> Boy, well. Again, man. Today, I've had. What a good opportunity he's put. But every time, straight at the keeper. Making it easy for him. He's not even trying. He doesn't need to try. He knows it's coming straight for his net. Cheer, cheer. Pedra. Challenge Griffiths, come on. And yeah, let's get the block on. More of that as well. Two woodworks, four block shots, two clear cuts. Come on, counter, counter, pace, pace. Who have we got? Make your runs, McSween, what was that? Toby, what on earth are you doing there? Making things difficult for no reason. No need to make it like this. There's no need. That's all I've got to say on that matter. Sween. Balic. Take it. 1 0 with ground that I 1 0 win. It should have been more, in my opinion. He came back into it though, leads towards the end and could have nicked one. 
You know what I mean? You could, you gotta give them that. But we kept a clean sheet. Elaine got a goal, which is nice. Could be his last goal for the club. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, he's got injured, which has messed things up <laughs> in regards to transfers. I don't think anyone will want to sign him now that he's got injured. Received 40k for the uh, billboard deal. Take it, why not? Alright, okay, a win on the board. Not many teams have played so far. All the usual suspects winning Arsenal actually did end up drawing. A solid start to the season, so I guess. As tradition goes, we'll get through August and then we'll come back sometime in September. We might play the Palace game. We know they had a cracker of a season last season. And then we'll probably Watford as well. Why not? Why not? Sounds good to me. Hope it sounds good to you. So that does conclude today's video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to hit the like button. Dislike it if you disliked it. Comment if I comment. Thank you all very much for watching. We hope to see you in episode 140. Bye bye.